Welcome back, Capricorns. This is the Empress. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There is so much more to come, all right? So let's take a look into November. Keep in mind, guys, these readings are general. They won't resonate with everybody, okay? So the energies can as well be vice versa, okay? So let's take a look. Let's get an overall energy for the month of November for my Capricorns, okay? Let's see if we have any jumpers. Let's see if we have any immediate messages for the sign of Capricorn. This is going to be for sun, moon, and rising, okay? Capricorns for the month from now up until November 15th. Let's do it that way. From now until November 15th, okay? This is what this reading is going to be for. From now up until November the 15th. From now until November 15th. What messages are there for Capricorns? What messages are there for Capricorns? From now until November 15th. Pay attention to the red flags. You know what? I saw that when I was shuffling. Um, it kept trying to get my attention. Pay attention to the red flags. So some of you guards, because some of you guys, guards can be up. I'm getting so tongue-tied. <laughs> some of you um, are keeping your guard up, okay? There's something that, okay, maybe you guys need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone. Um, there's something that you noticed. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with another Capricorn like yourself. We got codependency, which is the devil card in the tarot. Okay, there could be some addictions. Maybe you're realizing that someone has some type of addictions or maybe that you guys possibly have some type of addiction. It can be to anything. It could be an addiction to a person, place, thing, whatever. Okay, so I feel like you guys may have a addiction to someone you're really really attracted to this person or vice versa okay let's take a look we got this could be the one for past energy present energy we have free yourself and for future energy we have give your relationship a chance okay i think you guys had this energy for um october as well with this give your relationship a chance but keep in mind guys we are um, in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, which in Mercury retrograde, you know, we're reviewing things, looking over things, reevaluating things. Um, people that was in our lives, we're looking back. Okay, we're looking back at the past. So this could most definitely be energy from someone from your past. Maybe you decided to free yourself from a situation. You thought maybe this person could be the one and possibly like you decided to free yourself. But then some of you guys are going to be returning or deciding that you're going to give a relationship a chance. But before we get too, too much into detail, let's grab a few clarifiers, okay? So please give me clarifiers for Capricorn for, from now up until November the 15th. My energy is coming towards Capricorns. Please give me clarifiers. Or a Capricorn, okay. We got the Eight of Wands that wanted to jump out. So for some of you guys, this person, maybe you're wanting to communicate with someone or this person could be at a distance from you with this Eight of Wands energy, okay? Let's see. Let's give me clarifiers for Capricorn. For from now up until November the 15th. What message is there for Capricorns? All right. I'm going to call you back. I'm in the middle of doing the video. Sorry, guys. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. So maybe you guys are focusing on yourself. 
you're focused in on your pentacles, okay? You guys are like, you know, zeroing in on yourself. Some of you guys have decided to be single. I'm catching that on here with the free yourself. Some of you guys have, you know, decided that you're going to be taking control of your life and you're going to be focusing on yourself, maybe busy at work, okay? You're focusing on your money. Yep, look, we got the devil card, which is you guys' card um, right after that, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are focusing on yourself. You might be being a little selfish. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on. We got the high priestess. We got the temperance card. And we have the two of wands. All right, so I feel like for past energy... The High Priestess is the card of Pisces, but this also talks about things that are hidden, okay? Things that are kept in the dark. And this is also about using your intuition, okay? We know that Pisces is a very intuitive sign. Um, and with this energy, this is, you know, things that are being kept secret, things that are in the dark, or you using your intuition, okay? I feel like your intuition was telling you that um, this person could possibly be the one for you. Uh, but a lot of you guys decided to, your intuition was telling you to move on from this person, okay? So maybe you thought that this person was the one, but your intuition was telling you it's time to move on from this person. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius here with this temperance card. Okay, but this is just a feeling the need to free yourself and get a balance back into your life. Okay, the temperance card is about healing. It's about finding peace. It's about finding balance. Okay, so some of you guys are taking more control of your life. You've moved on from a situation in the past. Okay, and you're trying to find balance. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups, you're trying to find balance. You're trying to find healing and you're trying to find happiness. Okay. I mean, I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to find that within yourself, okay? I feel like here with the two of wands, this is telling me that you are planning and you're preparing, okay? And going ahead, some of you guys may be planning on giving a relationship a chance, okay? This could be with someone new because I see that you guys have decided to move on from someone in your past, okay? We have the queen of wands, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So some of you guys could be giving a relationship with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries a chance, okay? You might be preparing yourself, planning, you know, and getting ready to um, get into a relationship, okay? There's some regrets here. You're looking back over a situation with regrets in your past, okay? You're crying over spilled milk. You're looking at this situation, okay, as a loss, okay? You regret you have you had to move on. Some of you guys possibly moved on from a Pisces with this high priestess here. And you possibly thought that this person was the one and you're looking back at the situation with regrets. Okay. We got the sun card again. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Leo. But I'm seeing that you want happiness. You want peace. You want a balance in your life. Okay. So maybe freeing yourself from the situation in the past. And moving forward is going to bring more balance into your life. Okay, someone is offering you a cup of love here with this Knight of Cups. Okay, so you have an offer on the table, possibly from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And you possibly are planning or preparing on whether or not if you want to give this relationship a chance. Okay. I pick up as well to that there's something that you possibly regret that you waited um you waited on something and you're regret regretting that you waited um that you put a situation on hold i feel like you guys are looking back at it like you know I, I i put this on hold here with this hangman energy with this hangman you see he's hanging upside down the situation is just in the air and you know just letting it be Okay, and then we got you guys' energy, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, I have the Moon card here, Pisces is energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Pisces, but this is telling me that there was something that was hidden. Okay, 
And then we got you guys' energy again, Knight of Pentacles. So something came to the light with the sun card and the moon card here, okay? So something that was in the dark came to light, okay? Something that was hidden came to light, okay? I'm getting exposed with this sun card here and the moon card. Like something that was, you were keeping a secret or keeping hidden has possibly come to the light and been exposed. It possibly has freed you up from the situation in the past. And now you're feeling the need, you're feeling more peaceful. You're feeling more happy that, you know, this situation came to the light. Okay. So now it's possibly like, you know, I can finally breathe again. Okay. I feel like, um, you don't want this person to walk away in the near future, but I feel like there's possibly conflict um, surrounding this issue or surrounding this person. We got the five of wands and the eight of cups. So it's like, I feel like this person comes to you with an offer with this knight of cups could most definitely be a fire sign. But it looks like you're saying, like, you know, I don't want any drama. I don't want any problems. With this death card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We got the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from a situation, and you're walking away from drama. Because I am picking up that you want this balance. You want peace in your life, okay? And maybe this person brings drama to your life, okay? Or if you were to accept this cup of love, you're thinking about what comes with it and it's possibly tied to some drama all right so let's get into your tarot read guys this is juicy okay this is super juicy all right so let's see what energy um what messages are there for the sign of capricorn sun moon and rising capricorns for now up until november 15th Messages are there for Capricorn from now until November the 15th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorn. All right, Capricorns. We got the Ace of Wands. A new start, a new beginning. Okay, this could be creative energy as well. Okay, you may be working, so you may be using your creative um, energy. Your creative energy could be juices, could be flowing. Okay, this is a new start. This is also sexual energy and passion. Okay, yeah, you want a new start. We got the fool. Okay, so this is a new beginning, taking a risk, and you're wanting a new start. Okay, you wanting a new fresh start. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sag or an Aries or Leo. Okay, let's see. I have these cards. I'm just like you guys are kind of guarded as well, too. We got the Nine of Wands, which is, you know, when your guard is up. And then we got the King of Swords right behind that, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is like, you know, you you feeling like you have to watch what you say or watch how, watch. I'm just feeling like you, you're, you're, you're using um, intellect over emotions, okay? And you want to make sure that you're being strategic on this new start, this new beginning, okay? So... We have the strength card. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Leo. Okay. Four of Wands. Some of you guys could be married. Some of you guys could be in a commitment. Okay. Some of you guys could be thinking about marriage. Some of you guys um, have been with this person for a while. Okay. We got the Emperor. Aries is energy. But I feel like you're wanting to take control. You're wanting to be in control, okay? 
or maybe you feel like this person is controlling, okay? You could be dealing with somebody that's controlling. Someone is definitely married here. We got the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But there's a commitment or someone is wanting a title or some type of commitment, okay? Or you guys could be thinking of... Um, Thinking of a way to do things by the book or traditional. Definitely fire energy. Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy again. Okay, so I'm picking up on for a lot of you guys. You're dealing with the Leo. Okay, you're dealing with someone that is... Um, I'm picking up someone is being stubborn. Someone is possibly being like kind of controlling. Okay, arrogant here. Then we got you guys' energy going ahead with the devil card. There could be addictions. There could be codependency. There could be um, an obsession here. But you're feeling like you're winning, okay? You're feeling like you're winning. You're feeling on top of your game. You're feeling like you've been getting a lot of attention or this person gives you a lot of attention. You're just feeling like you're winning, okay? Yeah. And how others see you is the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is a fresh new opportunity, Okay. We have you um, in the hopes and fears to close a chapter. Okay. There's a chapter that you may fear closing or a chapter that you're hoping that you can close. And as your outcome, we have the eight of pentacles. So I feel like you guys are going to be putting in some effort towards something or someone, or someone is going to be putting in effort towards you could go vice versa. Okay. You could be working really hard on something. Um, or working on trying to um, give someone a commitment or someone giving you a commitment, okay? There's some type of clarity or some type of truth that um, is getting ready to be revealed. Someone most definitely wants a commitment. Someone most definitely wants to get married, okay? Someone definitely wants the whole everything. This is past energy. I feel like this fire sign could possibly be stressing you out worrying you maybe they want a commitment they want to get married they want they want some type of commitment with you most definitely but i feel like you guys are looking back at your past here with this six of cups okay you guys are looking back at the past so maybe you maybe you guys have um are in a um have already done the commitment thing and you're looking back at it and this person is telling you that they want some type of commitment from you um and this is kind of like stressing you out a little bit i feel like you feel possibly you you guys feel like you're more victorious when you're single okay you feel you feel like you get more attention you feel like you're more on top of your game when you're focused and zoomed in on yourself okay when you're getting your money together maybe you guys before you give this commitment you want to have yourself together with this nine of pentacles you're trying to make sure your money right you're trying to make sure that everything is good you know and someone possibly um, that's in this situation feel as if they give you some type of stability. They're possibly even giving you money. Okay. We got the six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So somebody is definitely giving, um, someone money or giving somebody a fresh opportunity or giving them, you know, I feel like this person feels like they give, they offer a lot to you. Okay. You're wanting to close the chapter because there has been some drama tied to the situation. We got five of wands. There's conflict involved with the situation. There's competition involved with this situation. There's just a lot of people, okay? I feel like you're wanting to shut that door on that, okay? And I feel like you guys are trying your best. We got the four of pentacles. So there's something that you're still holding on to. There's something that you haven't let go. But I feel like you guys are trying to let go of something from your past. Um, with that four of pentacles, is telling me that you are, you know, holding on to something tight. You're not ready to let something go. Or you guys are just flat out being selfish and thinking of, of yourself, okay? You're thinking of yourself. You're thinking about your stability and what you bring to the table, I feel like we have the Queen of Cups here with the Ace of Swords. Some type of truth was revealed. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. 
So some type of truth was revealed and there's possibly a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. Okay, someone is definitely Page of Wands and the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. Somebody is definitely in the past. You possibly um, was dealing with someone or you vice versa. Someone definitely wanted a title. Someone definitely wanted some type of commitment with you. This person is really like we got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you guys are dibbing and dabbling. There's two or more people here um, because I keep picking up on fire energy and water energy. But I'm just getting a sense of you're staying up at night. You can barely sleep. Someone is stressing you out, okay? And I feel like it's because someone wants a title. Someone wants stability. Someone wants you to marry them. Someone wants you to, like, give them everything, okay? All right, so you're trying to move forward from your past. You're trying to move forward from your past here because we got the Six of Cups and the Chariot card. So you're definitely trying to move forward. You're trying to advance from something um, in the past. I'm just getting a sense of like you're trying to do better than what you did before. We got you deciding to possibly walk away. Maybe you're feeling indecisive about whether or not if you want to walk away from the situation and be single, okay? Fire energy again, okay? Whoever you're dealing with feels like they give a lot to you. They offer you a lot, um, but this is possibly like an on-again, off-again thing, okay? With this Knight of Wands, this person feels as if you are you come back and forth out of their life, okay? Page of Cups, Pisces is energy, Okay, someone is, it's like, someone is always bringing you drama and you're trying to close the, the chapter on that. I feel like you're holding back what you really want to say. I feel like you want to put some type of effort into something um, or you want this person to, you feel like this person needs to work for the title that they're wanting, that they're looking for from you. Um, and I feel like you're holding back um what you really want to say okay why is the strength card here i feel like you're holding back anyway the strength card is the card of leo but that's also someone um refraining and holding back from um you know just just resisting why is the strength card here maybe you guys are trying to resist giving someone a commitment look king of wands you guys are definitely dealing with fire sign <laughs> Look at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Someone wants a new beginning, a new start, okay? Most definitely a fire sign. Why is the Four of Wands here? And this being the challenge. This is um, the challenge is that this person wants a commitment or you want a commitment, vice versa. Four of Wands. They possibly are saying that they want a family, Queen of Pentacles, I'm telling you, somebody wants to be a wife or a husband. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, this is stability as well. Okay, so the challenge is, you know, you're you're looking at, at it in a in a logical way. Okay, you're looking at it in a way of is this going to provide me stability? I feel like you you're afraid that this is going to blow up in your face. We got the Eight of Swords and the Tower. So it's like, okay, if I give this person this title or if I if I give this person everything that they're desiring, is this going to blow up in my face? And I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you are better off single. See, look, you're wanting to walk away from Three of Swords. Some of you guys, this is divorce, okay? Some of you guys, this is separation. This is possibly like a breakup, okay? Why is the Three of Swords here?
Hangman. Pisces is energy. But I feel like a lot of you guys are just letting this situation hang in the air. Um, and there is Pisces is energy again. Fire energy again. Um, I feel like you're stuck in limbo waiting, okay, before you make this move. Before you make this move, it's like you're waiting. It's like you're stuck. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Maybe you're pushing a water sign away. Okay, here we go with this Ace of Wands again. Maybe you guys are pushing a water sign away. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Empress, Empress, okay, we got Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, but the Empress is the mother, the mother card, okay, this could be a wife card, this could be a, a side person, why is the Empress here? The Tower, okay, the Tower. That's like the dun 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 moment. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you you guys can't make up your mind. So there are I feel like for a lot of you guys there are two or more people involved. Okay, and you're not trying to rush. We got the two of swords and knight of swords. You don't want to rush into to something. And I feel like a lot of you guys are just waiting. You feel like you you need to take your time. Okay. And we got the king of pentacles, your energy, and this queen of swords keeps coming up. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is the tower here? Yeah, it's like you're waiting for something to blow up or fall apart or um, you're waiting for something to fall apart. You're, or you're waiting to see if something is going to fall apart. I feel like a lot of you guys are looking for love. We got the Gemini card here. You could be dealing with the Gemini. I feel like a lot of you guys are possibly looking for love. Um, but I feel like you, for some reason, I'm picking up on you guys. I'm kind of like dragging your feet. Someone is really, really feeling you. Okay, someone is most definitely feeling you guys. Most definitely. Why is the Knight of Cups? Let's see why this Knight of Cups is here. This is an invitation. Okay. This is an invitation. This is um, communication. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Magician. So someone here is making, you're like refraining from making this offer. I feel like you feel maybe someone is trying to force you into this. And I feel like you're holding back. And it's like they're making you offers. Whoever this is, they're, they're making you some type of offer. And the offer sounds good, okay? Because we got the Ace of Pentacles. So they're possibly, um, you know, oh, I can do this for you. I can do that for you. I can offer you this. This is what I can do, okay? And the opportunity sounds nice, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys, these, these people are like giving you um, material things, or you know, showering you with gifts. But I feel like for I feel like they feel like this is like a temporary thing, like on again, off again. You come in and then you leave out. So let's see how they feel about you, Cappy. How do they feel about the Capricorn? Obviously, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's crazy about you. And I'm picking that up immediately. There's a lot of passion. This person has a lot of passion for you. Like, it's kind of like obsessed. Obsessed with energy. <laughs> obsessed. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to call this reading. Why are you so obsessed with me? Because <laughs> y'all got somebody obsessed, okay? All right, so let's see how do they feel about Capricorn from now until November 15th. How do they feel about Capricorn? Let me 
got the Knight of Pentacles, you guys' energy, okay? So they could feel like you're dragging your feet and you're being cold and possibly kind of distant. And, you know, they want you to pick up the pace, okay? They want you to pick up the pace. But if they know you, they know that Capricorns, that's something that a Capricorn is just not willing to do. A Capricorn always looks at things in a more uh, logical, more grounded point of view. Um, so a rushing is most definitely not going to be it. All right, so let's, let me grab a few cards. I want to see how they feel about Capricorn. They've been calling you towards them. We got calling in your soulmate, okay? And they are looking at things as if this person could be like the opposite of what you're used to, okay? I feel like right now, currently, we have let go of control issues. So they're feeling like they're kind of like just backing um, or just, you know, kind of like letting things flow, Okay. And we have free yourself, taking back control, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have soulmate. So they feel like you are their soulmate, okay? They feel like you're their soulmate. They want some type of commitment. I'm telling you, they want some type of um, commitment from you. We have engagement. So they possibly are wanting to get married. And they're wanting a higher level of commitment from you. They want you to take them serious. We got codependency here, which is the devil card in the tarot but this person is like addicted to you okay there's an addiction okay addictions are affecting your love life this person is crazy about you okay all right so let's see i feel like they um we got the six of swords Okay, so someone is moving on, okay, and they're looking back at the situation with regrets. So maybe some of you guys have decided to move on, okay? Maybe some of you guys have decided to move on from this person, but they're looking back at the situation with regrets, okay? They're looking back at this with regrets. Oh, you left somebody heartbroken, Capricorns, Three of Swords. You left this person heartbroken, and this person absolutely adores you. <laughs> Look, we got the four of wands. Some of you guys, Cappies, some of you guys were already in a commitment. Okay, so maybe that's why you can't have the, a commitment with this person, because you guys are already possibly in a commitment, a marriage, or you've been, been dealing with someone for a very long time. And then, yeah, we have them disappointed. We have them sad. We have them... They are looking at this situation like, what the fuck? And now their guard is up. Moving ahead, their, their, their guard is up. They felt like they was the perfect person for you. Like, they're looking at it as if this is either side piece energy, okay? For some of you guys, this is a side piece, okay? They're looking at you as, they're looking at the situation as if you're perfect or they're the perfect choice, okay? And they also feel like as if you put them in a third-party situation. I feel like you guys are feeling stuck, okay? Or this person is possibly trying to make you feel obligated. Six of Pentacles, okay? And the outcome is the Chariot card, so they're having to move forward, okay? This person could be at a distance from you. This person could definitely be at a distance from you, okay? They're trying to heal their broken heart, okay? This person, some of you guys are dealing with someone that decided that they had to move on. They're looking back at the situation with regrets, and they're trying to heal a broken heart. Some of you guys are definitely married. We got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups together. 
definitely married energy. They're disappointed, um, but at the same time, they are possibly getting attention elsewhere, or they feel as if you're not giving them the attention that they want or desire, and they feel like you threw them out and left them out in the cold, okay? Eight of Cups, so they're feeling like they had to walk away. They're feeling like they have to walk away. And I feel like you are feeling like you're stuck in limbo. Like you're just waiting this out to see where this is going to go. And I feel like in the hopes and fears, it's like they just, they, I feel like they feel as if this situation was uh, competitive. They feel like the situation was um, drama. Okay. And then we got them moving on, okay? We got the Queen of Pentacles. So they're just deciding that they're going to move on and do... Maybe they feel like they can do better, you know, that, or they can get better, okay? I'm picking up, like, on a sad, really sad energy. With this Eight of Wands, they may have communicated to you that they're, you know, sad or heartbroken, Okay. Yeah, whoever whoever this is, okay, this person has decided that they have to walk away and end this for good, okay? I feel like you're waiting, you you was like stuck and you were waiting to see what how they would respond to this situation. But I feel like, okay, there's lots of like jealousy or things, something that was possibly in the dark. Some of you guys definitely dealing with the water sign. Pisces is most definitely because we got the moon card here. But yeah, I feel like they're moving on, okay? They're deciding to move on. We got the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. So, um, you know, they're they're really um, guarded and they're focused on their money, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? Maybe they invested, okay? They invested some money or they um, did put their all into this and they're looking back at it with regrets, okay? Oh yeah, they let this go. They have let this go completely. Like, they're done. They're done. Okay, so for some of you guys, what I'm picking up is that there's possibly two people involved, okay? For some of you guys, this is a marriage. For some of you guys, it's someone that you've been dealing with for a long time. Um, and I feel like someone that you were dealing with has decided to let this go. Okay, they're done. All right, so... I want to grab a few clarifiers for this energy here, and I'm going to let you guys go. All right, so this is how they feel about you guys. Ooh. Oh, some, someone is definitely disappointed. This popped right out. Okay, someone possibly is sad or, or you know, just feeling down about this situation. keeps itching like maybe someone's being nosy <laughs> my nose just started itching like out of the blue Bottom of the deck, 
we have the Knight of Wands. So this person feels like you're in and out. You're you're probably possibly like a player. Okay. There is um, some commitment here. And someone wants a commitment, but they feel as if you are a player. Or you're back and forth, or you're, you're here and then you're there. Okay. And we have the Knight of Cups. All right, this is communication. This is love offers, okay? So this person has been calling you in, okay? Um, they want you close to them. They want you to communicate. And then we have free yourself, which is the death card here. Scorpio's energy. But someone is feeling as if something is an end. There needs to be some type of end. They have to free themselves. So they feel like they need to free themselves from this situation, okay? They feel like there needs to be some type of ending. Let go of control issues. Okay, so this person is letting this situation unfold naturally. I feel like they still kind of like worry about it with the nine of swords. But I feel like they are deciding that they, you know, have to let the situation unfold naturally. Okay. I feel like you stress this person out. <laughs> Like, you stress this person out. I feel like they wanted a second chance. They wanted a new beginning and a new start with you. We got the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card. So, they most definitely want a, another chance. And I feel like they decided to stand their ground and move forward. Okay. They decided that whatever whatever happens, happens, and they're sticking to that, and they're moving forward, okay? And then we have this um, Knight of Pentacles, which is you guys' energy. So it's like you're still on their mind. And we have this King of Wands, um, very passionate still about you. Fire energy. I feel like they feel as if they put their effort in and they tried and i feel like they are they um are done waiting okay they're done waiting and they are wanting to take some type of risk or uh movement forward yeah somebody feel like they tried to be with you they tried to give you this two of cups energy and they were possibly waiting for you to reach out or waiting for you to call because they feel as if they aren't going to do it. And I feel like they are going to be taking some type of risk, okay? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Seven of Swords. We got the Queen of Wands, okay? Maybe there's, I'm telling you, for some reason... Some of you guys are like playing around with the, the fire sign. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Look, okay, there's somebody here that's option that you guys, they feel like you guys have options, okay, that you are sneaking and playing around with. Um, and they feel like, you know, you've been being very flighty or you decide to take some type of risk and you have other options. Okay. You have other options. Okay, so that's going to be the reading that I have for you guys from now up until November the 15th, okay? I hope these messages resonated. And if they happen to resonate, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. And if you want to book your very own personal reading from now until um, October 31st, I am running new client specials, $25 for a three um, question reading okay that information it's in the drop box below or it should come up across the screen okay all right guys until next time ciao for now